you say, old friends? It's another week of cocktails and Sondheim. The show this week is The Frogs by Stephen Sondheim. You may not know it. Um, I don't think anybody knows it. No one's ever seen it. Um, from what I understand, Sondheim wrote it while he was in prison. Um, and when he got out, they kept the copy, the only copy in the prison. It's only recently been released. Although that's kind of what I understand. I don't know, I haven't seen the panel talk about it yet. So we'll catch up on it later. What am I gonna do today? Something Greek. The Frogs is based on a show, an ancient Greek play by Aristophanes. Aristophanes! Did you say ridiculous? If you did, that's why we're friends. If not, you need to brush up on your odd couple. All right, let's do something Greek. So I was thinking about this. Ouzo is the typical drink of the Greeks. It is a neutral spirit flavored with anise. It tastes of licorice. Uh, the Greeks will drink this before a meal, generally. You add a little water to it and it becomes cloudy. Um, it's much like in, in France, if you had pasties, or if you were having Zambuca, it's along those lines. Um, and even like absinthe. In fact, when absinthe went away, people were using uh, ouzo as a substitution. Now, the Greeks will drink it as an aperitif, something that you have before a meal that's supposed to stimulate your appetite, lower in alcohol and... Uh, uh, not too sweet. Um, they will drink it with metzes, little uh, like fish and, and cheese and olives and all of those things like the fat and the oil that helps you to um, break down in the alcohol. So that's why it's good as an aperitif. Simple cocktail, something really refreshing. In the show, they um, Dionysus will go to Hades to try to bring back George Bernard Shaw. So I thought we'd call this a Hades refresher. So we are going to add an ounce and a half of the ouzo. Now ouzo, like I said, has that anise flavor. And I think that anise loves flavors like orange. So we're going to give it an ounce of orange juice. It loves lemon. We will do half an ounce of lemon juice. And it loves honey. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if you remember we made honey syrup recently, we're going to bring back that honey syrup, honey and water, you can boil it down until you get a nice syrup, and we're going to put in a whole ounce of that. So think of those flavors, the honey and the orange and the lemon, and the last thing I'm going to add is a touch of vanilla extract. So we're just going to put like a drop or two in there, really just, I mean it's, it's strong because it's the extract. Just a drop or two in there. I love those flavors there. So we will mix this up. And I made this up just for you guys. Although I understand that it was Sondheim's favorite drink when he got out of prison. Went right to a bar and ordered this. Again, I'm not sure about that because we haven't seen the entire you know, group talking about it yet. We'll mix that up. And I'm going to top this got some ice in there with some club soda. This would be a great drink too in the summer, but something refreshing now I think that we could use with this weather. Now once you once you have that in, there's not a lot of room for club soda, which is perfect because you really want, you know, two or three ounces in there, just a little spritz. You don't want to lose the flavors in there. Let's Give it a stir. Oh, I think I lost my straw. Please hold while I empty everything out. Get a, get a straw. Get a nice slice of orange. And there, my friends. The Hades refresher. Again, here, cheers. Here's to Mr. Sondheim getting out of the big house. <laughs>